The grips on your mountain bike's handlebars act as an important contact point between you and your bike, so it's good to give them consideration. There are two main types of grips for mountain bikes, non-locking grips and lock-on grips, which have locking bolts like you see here. Today, we'll look at exactly how you can benefit from investing in a good lock-on grip. A lock-on or locking grip is one which is made with a bolt you can use to tighten the grips on your handlebars. So what's in it for you as the owner and rider of the bike? Well, there are just two things. The first one is how they handle in wet riding conditions. Since the current climate is rather dry, we'll be simulating rain with this water sprayer. On normal grips, water can easily get between the grip and the handlebars, causing them to slip and slide around, eventually ending up something like this. In contrast, lock-on grips are always securely fastened in place thanks to the bolt or bolts. This makes them invincible in wet conditions. This is not only more convenient, but also much safer, since slippery grips can lead to crashes. Finally, we have serviceability. To get a normal grip off, you need brute force and even a solvent. Lock-on grips are much more convenient, since you only need the right hex key. These are my new Bontrager SE Elite mountain bike grips, and I am a happy buyer so far. The texture on these offers grip, not just laterally but also vertically. By this I mean that they feel like they are covered in a sort of gum. This makes them feel slightly tacky but good enough to use without gloves. According to Trek's website, they are supposed to last long and do other things like channel sweat and provide comfort. I am actually impressed with the way the grips are marked so that you can gauge the angle of each grip on the bars. The comfort I get from these grips isn't amazing but it's pretty good, especially when riding street, where there's no soil to cushion your landings. They really do seem to live up to their promises of proper and predictable grip. The build quality as well as the quality of materials seems outstanding for $18. So if you are out for new grips, you may want to put these on your list. I haven't been able to find a single review of these grips on YouTube so far, so this is mine. If you are interested in the grips or anything else, the links are all below. Do you think lock-on grips should just blindly come as standard in all mountain bikes at all prices? I'd like to know your thoughts. If you found this video gripping, you can subscribe to my channel for content like this. I hope you enjoyed today's ride and I'll see you on the next one.